And uh, chin fat. Yes. Okay. How is Captain Marvel apparently able to travel faster than light to save the day in the final battle, and also have a beeper that can signal her while she's in other galaxies? That's so weird. So it seems to me that Captain Marvel, yes, is supremely powerful on a level that should preclude the need for any other Avenger. Well, yeah. Why do I need someone who shoots bows and arrows when I have Captain Marvel? What, why do you? Need, why do I what, need vibranium if I have Captain Marvel? Mm -hmm. Why do I need Iron Man who can fly with jets when she can move through the vacuum of space? Why, why, without a spacesuit. Without a spacesuit. Yeah. Why do I need a Hulk who smashes things when Captain? Why? Why do I need any other Avenger other than Captain Marvel? <clears throat> Plus, she glows. Yes. What else do you need? You don't need anything. Now, here, I have issues. That's her because, personality, by the way. <laughs> that glow. That glow. I'm just saying. That's a glow. That's a glow. That's her personality. Yes, yes. That's uh, So, I don't, plus, if she has that much power, how is it that she couldn't move the glove from one side of the battlefield to the minivan? Now, th that's that. Go, have, no, just, that just really pissed me off. She can carry spaceships across the galaxy yes, to land and softly. to land softly. Okay. Yeah. Touch three three point, three point touch that three soft landing soft landing soft landing mm -hmm. a spaceship a thousand times bigger than she is right she can't move a glove across a battlefield to a minivan I gotta say that was really very that like that's one of those movie mechanisms where you're like come on man I know right is this the, this is the most creative you could be right at how to stuff that's exactly. like that's like her running away from and then tripping on on a on a rock right or something yeah I mean it would have been get, it would have been so, far more cool if Thanos like summoned like a thousand of those little minions to hit her all at once. Once. All at once, or Some, something like something that. Something commensurate so, with her power. With her power. Yes. Right. Right. Not. Oh, I. Oh, I tripped. <laughs> that's what they're like. That's basically. Like, oh, I tripped. Oh, oh the glove. Oh. I'm like what? What the hell just happened? I could fly through space. Right. And I. And I. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah. So. No. All right. So yeah. so now, if you want her to move through space, you can imagine that she quantum teleports. All right. Okay. I don't know if you knew this, but. Uh, I'll explain this. Do you, okay. want a, you want the full explanation? I want this. You want the full explanation? Why not? Okay. So, um, if you put water in a glass, mm -hmm. it can't get out because the glass has walls. Right. Okay? So, the walls are boundaries between the location of the water and the table. Right. Does it make sense that if the walls were not there, the water would then settle down and spill all over the table. Absolutely. That's obvious. Of course. So what that means is the water has a lower energy state it could occupy, but the walls are preventing it. Okay. Because if you move the walls, the water won't stay there. It no, goes it to goes on its own. <laughs> right. It's called a lower energy state. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, by the way, the table is higher than the ground. If you put a crack in the table, it'll go through the table and hit the ground. Right. It prefers to be even on the ground. Right. Then it does to be on the top of the table. Then it did to be in your water glass. Mm. Okay. Quantum mechanically, you can trap a particle with the walls of a glass. It's a it's it's a it's a energy well. Okay. Okay. You can trap it there. Well, sorry. Let's look at uh, uh, just the water or a marble stuck in a little uh, in a in a in a like a a skateboard park. And okay. the marble can roll up and right. down. Back okay? and forth. Back, Back and, and forth. forth. There it is. Right. It's not leaving. Okay. Yeah. If you want it to leave, push it with fast enough energy, enough energy, so it goes over the top and then it goes down to the to ground level. Right. But you have to give it energy to get over that barrier. Right. To then escape, and now it escapes. Okay. Watch. It turns out because particles can also be waves. Hmm. The particle that's trapped in the well is also a wave that exists not only everywhere in the well. Parts of that wave exist outside the well. Mm. So the particle has a chance, a small chance of existing outside of the well, a very high chance of existing in the well. So most of the times you look at the particle is inside the well. Every now and then, it Maybe escapes. It's outside. Correct. Right. To watch it escape, it escapes instantly. It breaks through the barrier, mm -hmm. and no matter the width of that battery, barrier, it goes from one side of the barrier to the other in zero time. Right. So if she has control over the quantum continuum, right. she can then, base. it's called tunneling, she could tunnel through any space barrier and be wherever she wants in the universe instantaneously. So she would be 
in effect entangled with the entire that, universe. Oh, not very clever. Yes. That would be a way to have her move through space in the way that she does. Wow. She she would be quantum entangled with every with location in the location, universe right. so that she could then materialize herself wherever she needs to be. Wow. Having tunneled there through these barriers. Correct. That's pretty wild. Right. That's But she still can't move a damn glove <laughs> into a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> I tripped. I should have tunneled. I should have tunneled. I should have tunneled. I tripped. Why didn't I tunnel to the van? <laughs> yeah, she. Why not tunnel to the I damn just van? Tunnel to the van. You tunnel across the damn galaxy. Oh my God. All, All right. right. Next. Wow, that was great.